been a little busy this week. Of course, we've had some icy weather here today. Um, you know, so a little cold to be working in the shop today. I don't feel it messing with the heater over there today. So, um, but what you're looking at is the 1950 uh, white demonstrator cub, and uh, I've got a can't see it in there, but I've got the governor out. Governor Assembly, I guess, but um, problem I'm having here is when you go to throttle uh, throttle the cub up, um, there's a little lag in the governor responding and the, actually the, it throttling it up. You can almost go all the way up and not it, it not make any noise or, or enough. You can throttle it up and it not make any change whatsoever until about 10 seconds later and it'll I sort of go up itself. But um, I'm going to see if that will focus. But um, what this is here, this is the, the rod that runs across the, uh, the linkage that runs across the front of the tractor. And um, this here bolts to the front of the block. Well, the problem I'm having here is this has got too much slop in it. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to do this looking through the camera here, but okay. And my keyway just fell out, but um, as you can see, it's it's got quite a bit of slop in it. So what I'm going to have to do is either find another. I don't think the rod here is worn. I th actually think it's this piece here um, that's worn. Wall it out, I guess. Um, and you know, I've, I've talked to a few people, and they, you know, cut people, and you know, they say, you know, oh, just put you a, cut you a piece of tin can out, and you know, stick it in there, and you know, I, I'm not for, I'm not one for halfway doing crap like that. So, um, I'd rather wait and have the money and fix it like it's supposed to be fixed, and not do some halfway job on it. Um, I like to fix the problem, not you know, try to just make do with um, it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find this piece here. It's not wallet out. Um, I thought about having it, you know, welded up and, and you know somebody machine it out, and um, but you know that'll cost more than the piece is worth. So what I'm going to do is go to a local salvage yard, probably a good friend of mine, DeFore Tractor Parts in Nashville, North Carolina. I'll probably go to him and. Um, I know he's got several cubs in there, and I'll go and uh, see if I can find one that'll work. But um, and I hate to, you know, replace parts on the the cub here, but it uh, something's got to be done because you can't you can't operate it like it is, so it's not responding well and causing the carburetor not to, to either load up and and flood itself out if you go down too far and um, it's not responding correctly. But nothing's wrong with the governor on the inside. Um, that's all fine. It's just this little piece here. The camera won't focus, but yeah, it's just a little wallet out. But I've, I've looked at this and it doesn't appear to be worn at all. Um, I'm not sure if that's. I, had, I gotta look at another one and see how it looks. But, but anyway, that's it on the cub. Hopefully, uh, here in another couple of days, I'll be. I can get a part for it but and this is the one this is the cub here that I've got the this cub here was this cub came, okay this cub came with the this plow set up on it and the two or the scraper the belly mounted uh, blade so I'm guessing that this tractor was demonstrated with this this plow at some time and I had the decals made and I know you've seen this before but cub 189 two-way plow and I had her copy the stencil and uh so that's a decal, not stenciled on, but this here is actually the correct decal for the this model plow. This is the cast board on here. So and after a certain number, and I I found the, the uh, plow number or plow part number on here. And after a certain like early 53 or early 50, they changed the to the uh, McCormick International, uh, not McCormick Gearing. So on that. Plow still working on that, but 
Yeah, and it's dark in here. You can't see too well, but yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Hey, you too. Um, it's Farmall 51 here. All right, this is the 1950 Farmall Cub with the 189 two-way plow. Let's see here. Um, what I've been doing on this here is the governor. I rebuilt the governor. Um, I actually had some new old stock parts on the shelf, and I put new weights, new springs, everything in there. Um, all that's been cleaned up and on the inside. All right. All right, what I've done here is, I went close. This, the rod that's running, there we go. Okay, way back there below the spring, that piece there, that this, that this rod right here runs into, um, it was wallowed out. Um, it ended up being wallowed out. Um, the keyway part in there was wallowed out. So what I did is I replaced that thanks to um, Jason DeFore um, in Nashville, North Carolina. He's um, got quite a few surplus cut the response parts. Side of the the um, throttle was bad in the governor because of the um, wearing issue in there. So, but all that slop is taken out. Um, we've got good response um, here, and I'm not today, but um, I'm going to get this club out here, and I'm going to do some plowing with it because I may take this to plow day also. Um, I really want to try my 189 plow out some, but so, but um, yeah, thanks to thanks to the four tractor parts. And if you need, um, I'll put a um, link to um, his Facebook page um, right down below here. Um, and um, but you, you can um, contact him if you need any parts or. He'll, he'll be glad to help you, and he's a he's a good guy. I like him, and um, I like dealing with him. So, um, and you can see, you can definitely tell this is a white demonstrator cub. Let's see. You can see the white paint underneath there. Um, but yeah, this cub is. Other than that, that's the, that's the only problem I've had, and on that cub there, I've got a Zenith carburetor and manifold that will give it um, probably right upwards of 15 horsepower, 14, 15 horsepower, so um, we're close to it anyway. And I'm going to take that carburetor off the 51 cub over here, and I'm going to put it on this cub here, and um, this carburetor here has got, somebody has stripped, um, the bolt out of here, which I ended up putting a nut, a nut here, so um, that pulled it tight, and I had to shave, I had to make a special nut, shave it on one side just to get it to, to fit, but um, other than that, I got a little rear main oil seal leak, and uh, other than that, this cover is good to go, um, I'm waiting, I would start it now, but I've got my uh, gasket sealer on the um, governor on the other side there, so, but, um, yeah, just uh, keep keep them. Stay tuned here. We're getting ready to get fired up. Um, we've got a lot coming up. We've got um, plow days. We've got shows. Um, I know the next thing is March the 26th in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Um, we're having a plow day. Uh, Red Bibbs Bill will be there. Um, we'll have several other people there. Um, what else? We've got our state show coming up in May. Uh, chapter 37. So stay tuned for that and um, uh,